Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez and I'm a 3D artist using SolidWorks Visualize. So in this episode of the quick tips, I'm going to show you how to render your product with a transparent background. So for this example, I'm going to be using my uh, space capsule here. So we're going to get started. In this case, I wanted to render this space capsule for a website that I'm making uh, regarding trips to Mars. So I'm going to use a uh, Martian background uh, that I found uh, courtesy of NASA. And uh, I will be using uh, this space capsule kind of plopped in the center. So uh, to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find an appropriate HDR. Since I didn't have an HDR for the Martian environment, I'm going to use the California uh, desert environment that comes with Visualize. So for that, we go here, we click on cloud, make sure in there, uh, then you click on environments and you will find the California desert environment. You plop that in. Next thing I would do is I want to make sure that the lighting direction um, kind of comes from the right right direction. So what we're going to do is that we're going to hold Control and Alt, and we're going to left click, and you can see how um, you know how you can shift the light around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right there. I think that's fine. The next step to that would be to change the background from environment to the color black, and you want to do that because if you don't. Um, you're going to see the environment color leak through areas that are semi-transparent, like the shadow. So we're going to make sure to make that 100% black. Perfect. And the next step now would be to uh, click on the output tools, render. We're going to name it. Make sure it goes in the correct uh, directory. We're going to pick PNG. Uh, I'm going to select, you have to make sure that you select uh, alpha. Now. This option only pops up if you select PNG or if you select TIFF. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a 1080 output and um, let's see. I'm gonna use accurate. Uh, I like a thousand passes or more preferably, but a thousand passes is a pretty good one. I already rendered this out, so I'm just gonna click close. But you would render at this point. Next step, we go into Photoshop, and at this point, I am going to get. Um, I'm going to drop in my result and quickly you already see how good uh, it starts to look. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit, maybe, you know, push it up a little bit. I'm going to accept that. And now I'm just going to do uh, just a quick tutorial as to how I would then finish compositing this in Photoshop. I'm going to click on the layer mask. Make sure that kind of make that disappear. And then I'm going to give, give the body a little bit uh, of the color of the Martian environment. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to press an alt and click. So it sticks to the transparency there and I will give it the color uh, blending mode. And quickly you start seeing how, how good it starts to look already. Um, let me move this around a little bit better. Yeah, this is, this. I mean, surprisingly, in less than five minutes, we're able to get uh, a pretty good looking comp. So now I'm going to move this uh, to uh, a website comp I already have. So I'm going to, select all you can do that by uh by holding Control a and then i'm gonna go, go image uh, i'm gonna select copy merge and i'm gonna switch to my website comp all right so we have this website and then i'm gonna go Control v and we can already kind of resize it and then we're gonna center it here something like this yeah yeah, and there you go. You quickly have uh, a render that's ready to go on your website. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful, um, and I'll talk to you soon.